Hi everybody, my name is Ken Sykes and I want to talk a few minutes about Windows debuggers and some of the recent changes that we've been making to them to make them more useful. So traditionally, uh, Windows debugging has been a tribal tribulation. Um, you either have to you dump structures manually, like this uh, dumping the PEB, and you have to go through and um, know the structure intimately in order to find the information that you want. And you even have to do this for very common types, like uh, std string or std map. So what did we do about it? Well, the next idea was let's write debugger extensions. So then you have something like bang peb and that thing will dump out information that they think you might be interested in. And in some ways it is better. You don't have to know about the structure names and their format. Uh, but you know, you don't get things like composability. It's not easy to take the peb output and feed it into the input for something else. And if, they, if there was a field that you're interested in that they don't dump, you're out of luck. So then that led to an explosion of one-off extensions. So, you know, bang process or dot process, um, end vlog, handle, heap, object, you had to know all of these special commands and how to put them together to get your job done. Um, it was really crazy. In fact, it makes your head spin. All these extensions here. So many extensions. Ah! So there's got to be a better way to do this. So one of the things that we did is we introduced uh, something called NatViz, which is uh, shared with Visual Studio. And through an XML file, you describe your format, and instead of seeing a dump on the left with all the horrid uh, template expansion there, you see something on the right, which at the bottom, this is a map of a string and int, and in the green box, you can see it actually is something intelligible. Um, and this gives you an idea of what the NatViz might look like for decoding a tree of items. Um, all of this is documented on MSDN. The data model is another area that we are innovating in, which is instead of having all this data inside the extensions and not composable and usable by others, we have a central data model where information can be collected together, it can be sorted, you can do link queries, um, things like that. So this is just an example of taking the current process, dumping all the modules, to the debugger, you get a nice table. Uh, you can click on the columns, it'll sort by using a link order by command. And uh, we think this is a much better way of interacting with the debugger information. And this is not just something that works in WinDBG, it works in all of our debuggers because it's part of our shared engine. It works whether you're user mode or kernel mode. You want to see your stack traces. You don't have to taste no tilde star k for user mode or bang process for uh, kernel mode. It works whether you're debugging a dump file or a live file. And this is really the direction that Microsoft's going to take, putting more information into the data model, making it easier for people to interact with it. And if you're looking for more information on any of this, uh, you can look up the DX command or the NatViz on MSDN, and it gives extensive documentation on that. Also, if you go to channel nine and you look at defrag tools, episodes 138, 139, they give a good feel for how this comes together by the person that wrote it himself, which is not me, I'm just the messenger. And um, a little bonus tip is that tab completion works in a lot of places in the debugger now, so completing bang extensions, completing uh, fields in the data model, et cetera. And I'd encourage everyone who has to work on Windows to give it a try. Thank you.